Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. Today's video is going to be showing you how I use color coding in my planner in order to maximize my day. If you're new around here, this is my planner. It's an eight and a half by 11 disc bound planner. It's also Franken planned, which means I have multiple planners all in this one book. And if you wanna see a full flip through of of my setup and how I use it. Make sure that you stick around for Friday's video. I will be doing a flip through of my setup and walking you through the different changes that I have made to this planner. But today we are talking about color coding and I wanted to walk you through the different sections that I have used color coding and talk to you about how I use it within my planner. So the very first section that we're going to turn to is my monthly section. The first planner that I have in here is the one that I created. It is an hourly planner. It is undated. So I usually just add the dates at the top and then just write in all of my plans. But within my monthly section, I don't have a real system to the highlights that I have in here, but I will use a highlighter to mark off my past days. This allows me to easily see which day it is. And now that I've done it, I just don't even realize how I didn't do this before. So this isn't really color coding it is just basically me marking off the days with whatever highlighter is next to me but I wanted to share it because we're talking about highlighting today and I really just love this it makes it super easy for me to easily see which days have passed and which day we are currently on so this is the very first way that I have used color coding in order to help me maximize my day because this makes it much easier for me to see what the current day is as soon as I flip to this page. The next section that I use color coding is my weekly spreads. And with my weekly spread, I just use color coding in order to categorize different areas of my life. So you can see for this week, I used purple for business, pink for social, yellow for home, green for events, and gray for church. One way that my color coding helps me is to make sure that my life has balance. Many times if I am working a lot, I will see purple throughout this entire spread, which signals to me that I may need to switch it up and make sure that I am adding in things that I need to do for my home. So I love to use color coding to make sure that I have balance. And as you can see, instead of highlighting the entire word, I will just add the color code right next to the word. I like this better because it allows me to still have that minimal look that I'm going for and not have too much color throughout my entire spread. I think that's why I had gotten away from color coding in the past was because I felt like my spreads were so much color, so much highlighting throughout my entire spread that I didn't really care for it. But now that I am just adding the color right next to it, I am really starting to love it again. That way I can get the benefit of color coding without it looking like it's just taking over my entire spread. So this week was a pretty busy week, so I had about five different colors, but sometimes I will switch it up and only use three. So this week I only have gray for business, yellow for personal, and purple for church. I didn't really mark off any events or any places that I needed to go because I didn't really have that many places this particular week. So I will switch it up week to week just based on what I have going on. But I love to easily see what I have going on in each of these categories by this color code. And when I do have a lot of meetings and a lot of events, I I will use another color like green to let myself know where I need to be, who I need to call, whatever the case may be. So this is the way that I am using color coding in my weekly section. Basically it is by category based on if it's my business, my home, if it's an event, a meeting, if it's for church, and then I will just highlight right next to the item. And I am still using my black pen to write in my plans and my red pen to mark in what exactly happened on that particular day. The next section that I am using color coding is in my future section. 
So in my future section, the way that I am currently using color coding is basically the same way as my weekly section. I just have it divided up by events, travel, church, home, and social. And basically I just have different colors throughout the course of the month to let myself know what's coming up next. So within my planner, I only have the current month. So right now I only have the month of June within my planner. So my future dated section is basically all of the next upcoming months so I have July through December in this section and I will just write down different things that's coming up throughout the course of the month and then I am color coding them based on this key that I have down here this just makes it really easy for me to see what's coming up next and of course it's really pretty I don't have to add in any additional stickers it's still nice and color coded the next section where I am using color coding is my daily section Section. My daily section is pretty much the same thing as my weekly section. When I am using color coding, I am basically dividing it up by the different categories of my life. But like I said, when I see a bunch of one color, what I might do is look at what I wanted to do in the other categories of my life to make sure that I am balancing them out. But I have been loving these daily sheets in order to kind of stay on top of the different things that I need to do and to color code. I am a big writer, which means I love to write all day, pretty much all day, every day. So this allows me to really stay organized. And now that I have added color coding into this system, I really feel like it's an additional layer of organization that I didn't have before. The next section that I am using color coding is my business section. Within my business section, this is where I am basically keeping track of the different parts of my business that I wanna stay on top of. and I I just color code based on those things. So purple in my business planner is for my course, which means these are the things that I need to do that are related to my course. If it's pink, then it's related to some type of YouTube video. And if it's green, then it has something to do with my membership, my Patreon group. So as you can see, I have pink on this side because these are the YouTube videos that I was going to film. I have pink here to let myself know that that is for YouTube. And then on this side, I do have some pink. I have purple, green. It's all spread out because this lets me know what I have to do based on my key that is right here. So if it's related to my course, if it's related to YouTube, if it's related to Patreon. And once again, I am loving using color coding within this section in order to stay on top of the different areas of my business and make sure I am paying attention to all of them. I can easily look at this key and say, oh, I don't have anything green on here, which means that I might be slacking off in the Patreon area. Let me go look at Patreon, see what's going on and see if I need to do anything else related to it. And the last section that I am really using color coding is my budget section. Within my budget section, I am really using color coding for my expense tracker. My expense tracker is where I am keeping track of all of the daily spending that me and my husband are doing within our banking account. And so I will usually add up the different budget categories that I have based on the color code system. So for instance, with this week, I had pink, which were for subscriptions. Purple was for dining out. Any extra payment I made onto debt was yellow. If I did any giving or extra savings, it was gray. And then I had transportation was blue this month. So I easily categorize these different things by highlighting them and then I added them up and put them at the bottom so I could easily see how much money we have spent in those particular categories. Once again, I love using color coding with my expense tracker. It makes it super simple for me to add up these different items. As soon as I color code them, it's easy to group them and add 
them up and put them at the bottom of my sheet. Then that way I know how much I have spent in each category by just quickly looking at this key down here. So those are the ways that I have used color coding in my planner in order to maximize my day. If you wanted to see the class that I did on Patreon with Tom Academy to share with them the different ways that you could just use color coding in your planner all together, then make sure that you check out the description box. I do have a link to that class there. And also, if you wanted to see a full flip through of my current setup, make sure that you stay tuned for Friday's video where I will be walking you through every single section in my planner and talking about how I am currently using it today. So guys, I hope to see you in Friday's video. And until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.